experience and her reasons why. I don't want to bad her. Well, let me just say, okay, I'll just do the quick, the quick uh, version of it. So, this is my second guild, and on my first guild, I really had to convince myself why and how we're going to do it, and I didn't have the skills. And Karen, two years ago, you would not have wanted me to go <laughs> I came I came with no skills like most of the other women, but lots of them yeah, I can really just match them together and And frankly when you use the word sisters, that's really what comes out of there. That really resonated with me because um, the things that I gained out of it wasn't just handing someone the keys to a home, it really was really lifelong uh, relationships, skills that I can offer two years ago you would not have said to me I could put in doors. Uh, put in uh, uh, windows, be hanging from the attic, putting in an attic frame. Or my favorite is using a chalk saw. <laughs> my husband and I said, for Christmas this year, I want a chalk saw. <laughs> we own one. It's downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but those things are important. I, I felt such empowerment and skills. And really, um, you know, I got the piece about community and about giving back and that, but I really didn't recognize what it would be in my life and what it would change in my life. So when they said the second bill, my answer wasn't, oh, I have to go through this process. My answer was, why not? Um, the things that uh, really make you feel to somebody, but also really in a selfish way, the things that I received in my own life made such an incredible um, difference. And the, I guess the memory that stands out the most is handing over the to that family and everybody in the community has to look at each other without words and knowing what the expression of hope and faith and teaching is for us as well as So if you're not signed up, sign up. You will not regret it. You'll love being on site, rain or shine, snow or sleet last year. Um, it's just an awesome opportunity uh, to change lives.